So this is going to be a haul video, and the last one I did was a couple months ago, and this isn't including everything I've gotten in the last couple months, but it's including some of it. And I'm actually at my real desk, so you can see other projects that I work on. See, those are the pony customs I was telling you guys about, and there's all my paint, hair, mess. More paint, glitter, and all the stuff I have to show you guys. Okay, so, um, first things first, I'm going to start with like some of the candies and stuff like that that I've gotten. So you all know that I love Halloween. Well, before Halloween, um, we went to the dollar store and I got these cool little candies. They're Mario candies, but they actually have, let's see if I can focus in on them here, like uh, a Mario head, uh, Donkey Kong, I think they have a Toad and a Luigi and maybe a Yoshi, I'm not sure. I have lots of these. And they also had these bones and skulls. And of course, you know, the first thought I had was not, mmm, candy, it was, ooh, let's put that in resin. Okay. And then they also had these, which they're candy bones, and they're cute little headstones, like, Wand Too Many, We'll Be Back, Diane Rot. Um, and then after Halloween, I got these. I've been after these for a long time. Um, and they were on sale. They were 50% off. So I got them for like 2 bucks. And I don't know if you've ever looked for those online. They want like $8 in shipping for those. And then some little white ones that I can use as snow or whatever. Okay, so that's it for like candy and sprinkles and such. And next, I think I'm going to do stickers. Sorry, my camera's moving. I have really bad um, nerve pain. I have fibromyalgia, and um, today's just been a really rough day for me. So, first off, these stickers I actually found in my stuff. I did not think I had them, but I did. Uh, I cleaned my uh, one of my craft closets yes a couple days ago, and um, found these in there. Found actually quite a few that I didn't even know I had. There's this one cute little cloud and they're kind of puffy but not super puffy rainbows <gasps> this adorable panda I love these ones I see why I bought them and it was just a happy little accident that I found them and then these which are really pretty and then some big Easter stickers which are really cute too of course it's not Easter time but uh, I could use them around Easter, I guess. Okay, so that was it for the stickers I actually found that I already owned. Now let's get into the ones that I recently got. Well, these were extras in, um, like, special stickers I got in the pack, and you'll see the additional stickers I got with them. That one's really cute. And so that one. And then I got... And some of these I have used one or two off of. Like, Horton Here's a Who, I used a couple off this one. And then I've shown you these liquid stickers before, but this is actually a new one that I got. It has the animals, and I love the little fish. And this is an extra um, thing that came with some other products that I bought. And it's actually nail stickers, but I figured I could probably use them in resin. They're really pretty. And then I ordered, I got these off eBay. Yeah, okay. So, um, it's like the Little Mermaid, but they're, I don't know what you'd call them, 
because it looks like the real Little Mermaid and everything, but it's not named brand. It's not Disney brand, so I don't know if they're real. But they're all different ones. And I love that they have the gold around them. I really like that one. And of course, King Triton, who's like one of my favorite characters. I love that they have him. And I guess the babies are from like her... I don't know which movie they're from. The third movie or something like that. And then I also got the Cinderella ones. I love that sticker. That one's cute too. And again, they're not... It doesn't say name brand, but the characters look right, so... And they're so pretty. I love... I like this one. With her and the dog, that's cute. And then I also got this. It's a big, like, car sticker. And, um, if you watch my new update video with my new resin pieces, you'll see what I plan on doing with it. I've actually been doming stickers with just plain resin. Nothing behind it. No mold or anything. And I love the effect. So I think I'm going to make this into a wall tile. And then I actually got two packs of these. And I got them for, that's right, a dollar. Woo! I've been wanting these for so long. Because I love steampunk stuff. But. And then I got these from uh, Jolie's Boutique. They're really pretty fish and coral. I love the coral. And I love this jellyfish. We've got like little yarn things on him. But this one got broken in the mail. That's okay. I can fix it if I have to. And I love this guy down here. He's real pretty. He doesn't shimmer or anything, but he's pretty. And then I got this um, just like... Sometimes I just get stickers that I can use with other focal stickers, I guess. Kind of like beads that you buy to go with focal beads. And there's just flowers. And they're like holographic. They're really pretty. And they're all colors. And then, of course, I've already used one of these, too, because I love them. They're metallic, but they're also like 3D. I don't know if you can see that. But um, they're really, really cute. They kind of remind me of, like, Care Bears almost. And then this is a winter set I got. He's got a cute snowman and snowflakes and trees. I like that one. And they're metallic. It's the new stick of stickers. See? New. And then I got the snowflakes. Because I'm a sucker for snowflakes and snowmen. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Ugh. These I got, I don't even remember where I got them, but I got them for these little penguin heads. There's two of them on here, and I want to make earrings out of them. He's cute, too. And I don't know what I'll do with the other stuff, but the penguin heads are what I really bought it for. Although these little sheep guys are cute, too. And then I got a big pack of these. Um, I'm just showing you one sheet because I couldn't locate them all. They're, they are uh, cupcakes, but they kind of look old-fashioned. But they have, like, glitter on them, and they're just really cute. That one's adorable. So is that one. So is that one. So is that one. They're all cute. I've already used one of those, and I really like the way it turned out. Then I got these off eBay for, like, 70 cents. Um, they were just holiday stickers, and I really like the little penguin and the snowman, of course. And the little polar bears are cute, too. And then I got this, um, oh, this Jack Skellington one, unique sheet, six of them. So each sheet has different ones on there. And I've already pulled off a couple, like that was a Sally. I went a little bit Nightmare Before Christmas crazy and got like three different types of them. Because it's the anniversary this year and they actually came out with new stuff. And that was one of the skulls. Boogie Boogie, Sandy Claus. I don't know if you guys can see this okay. I'm having a hard time holding my camera. And if it makes you guys sick, I'm so sorry. And then I got these on sale too after um, Halloween. So I'll be plenty stocked up. And not to mention, I really like gothy stuff anyway. So like the... Um, the spider webs and stuff I can use in other pieces. Here's the other Jack ones, and I wanted to, I kept this out because I wanted to show you guys it. They actually glow in the dark. 
Um, and it's two stickers. Sandy Lion is who makes them. Really like the ghost. And him on the tombstone's really cute too. But they're the same. And then the other one I got was these ones. And it's just the two like half sheets. And basically the same exact ones, except for maybe some different sizes. I don't think that Mayor one's on any of the other ones. Or that Lock, Shock, and Barrel one. But like that one's on other ones. The Sandy Claws, Jack right there. Now and Forever's on a bunch of them. Bone Daddy, Oogie. And then I got quite a few of these sheets. Um, they're epoxy stickers and they are 3D. What's cool is the 3D piece is epoxy too. And so is the back. So, um, you know, it's not, you don't have to worry about sealing it or anything. And actually, I have a piece made of part of one of those that you'll see in an upcoming video. But I got quite a few of these. Um, these are like them. Of course, I've already taken one sticker off. Um, but they aren't epoxy, they're plastic. And I really love that sticker. The other ones are okay, but I really love that sticker. And then, um, for my son and his, some of his little friends. So these are, um, Monster University stickers. Um, my son likes to wear resin. He loves when I make resin pieces. I like to make him magnets, and he has some boy necklaces and stuff. Um, and he really wanted a Mike, that guy, Wazowski, um, magnet. He's so strange. He likes to stick them on bathtubs. So... That one's cute. And I like Sully. He's my favorite. And then, um, I've already used one of these. I got these around Halloween. They're just the, um, epoxy, um, Halloween stickers. I really like this one. Uh, some candy corns, caramel apples, which is the one I already used. Little candies and some long candies, which have little faces on them. That one's cute. So it's that one. And then also, um, for my son, you can see I already used R2-D2. Um, there's these text, like, 3D, um, they're hard to see. 3D Star Wars stickers. Like, there's, um, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Chewbacca, uh, Han Solo, Boba Fett, uh, C-3PO. And I think that's supposed to be Luke. And then that was R2-D2. They're really cool. I just happened to find them. I don't even remember where I found them, but they're neat. You can see, like, on the side here. Uh, you can't really see there. Sorry. They kind of stick out. And then I also got these. Um, I got a couple of these. And they have, you know, like, the Skelet. Monster High logo. Then, I like that one. Love Bites. Because I could use that for other things besides Monster High. Perfectly imperfect. Um, and then they have other stickers on the back. I like that one too. I wish there was more of the other characters in there. But I have a bunch of images of those on my computer that I can print. So, And then I was at Big Lots and I found this. Um, I think it's for car decals. I'm not sure. But I've never seen Tinkerbell with black in the background, so I was like, I have to get that. That's adorable. And it ended up being 50 cents. So there's a huge one, and then there's these little ones. I like that one. And then also, just like those other big um, puffy epoxy ones that I got at the dollar store, they have um, these owls, these big owls. And again, I'm going to like just put resin on the actual sticker and then um, that'll be how I use them <clears throat> again I pardon my mess in the background I've been painting and stuff so that's why my wet palette's out and then I also got these at the dollar store they are um, they come with like a set like you know you stick them on the scenes or whatever um, but I just wanted the stickers 
I really like that bell sticker. I got one bell and I think I got two uh, Cinderella's because that was all they had. They didn't have any of the other princesses, but from looking at the back of the papers or the back of the packaging, um, they normally do carry other ones. And they're pretty, I mean, they're good size. Because here's my hand. I mean, they're the, almost the size of my hand. So I was thinking maybe tiles. Use them in tiles. And then also, because I've had lots of requests to do children's jewelry for friends of mine who have triplets, um, I got this book of Doc McStuffins. And of course, my son, Nova, wants some from this set because he likes Doc McStuffins. And he's my favorite. I love the little um, snowman guy. He's so cute. And there's lots of different ones. Each page di is different. And of course the smaller ones, which would look really cute in like, um, maybe bottle caps or something, although I don't really have any bottle caps. And then, um, at a thrift store, actually, because I do like to go thrift store shopping, they had these Mary and Kate and Ashley appliques for half of 99 cents, so for like 50 cents. And um, there's two little round ones and a big one. And I want to try to embed these in resin too. And then for the last of the stickers. And I have used a couple of these. It's just this holographic like girly stuff. Like I really like um, the rainbows and the unicorns. But again, I got these mainly for little kid jewelry type things, but I probably will use those and the rainbows and adult pieces as well. These are at the dollar store. And in the same style um, of that holographic stuff, it's sea creatures. And I love the whale. And the jelly is so cute. And those sea and enemy things are awesome. I'm always looking for stuff like that to put in um, like aquarium or ocean scenes because they love to make those. I love that whale too. And there's like a swordfish and a squid and all kinds of stuff. And then they had, um, the same time I got those, they actually had Halloween stickers like for 30 cents or something like that. So I got these. They are glow in the dark. I love the owl. And I'll probably use the owl in other pieces that aren't really Halloween. I like the raven too. And there's a black widow. So those are all cool. And then these were also like 30 cents and they're more realistic um, Halloween ones but I really like that pumpkin <laughs> a lot. Um, tombstones, spiders, eyeballs, skeletons, skulls. That pumpkin's cute too. Bugs. The big old cockroach. <clears throat> and then again, um, because I am doing some children's jewelry um, for Christmas coming up and stuff, I got um, these, which I really like the white one and the winged white one and the uh, orange and blue one. And that one's real cute. And my son actually picked those out. And then I've used a couple of these too. I have two sheets of these. These are like textured. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can give you a closer. There you go. You can see the texturing on them. And they're, you know, just the fish, sea creature things. And they're the same. They're the same. But I got two of those. And then this one I also got at the 99 cent store. Um, it's just Hello Kitty. And I just saw these actually yesterday at Walmart. And they were $2, I think, or $1.50, something like that. So I didn't save a whole, whole lot on them, but extra 50 cents or a dollar can buy me another sheet of stickers. That's how I look at it. So let me get this stuff um, put away, and then I will show you the rest of my stuff. Okay, so up next is a bunch of jewelry stuff. I got these really cool, like, anti-copper looking chains. 
I don't know if you can see that. For um, I think they were a dollar each at Big Lots. I got two of those. And then I also got this other chain that is black. And I want to say it was uh, it was like 40 cents or 50 cents or something like that. It was in the clearance. Um, I got more silver head pins because I needed those really badly. I got these cool um, rustic hard metal pieces. I just want to put them in resin. I think I'm going to um, maybe use them in like some steampunk pieces. Um, I got these two big acrylic beads. I mean, they're pretty big. Um, at Walmart for a dollar. I think they're really pretty. And I ha already have a necklace that I plan on using them on. <clears throat> And then, um, these came in, I want to say, not yesterday, the day before. They're these little cameo metal pieces, and I got ten of these color, in this style. I was hoping they'd be bigger, but I really like the designs, and I'm real picky about that kind of stuff, so. And then I also got ten of these. Again, I really like the, like, exterior detailing, and I, I just really love them. I w like I said, I wish they were bigger, but if anybody knows where to find this exact style, see the details, but bigger, let me know. Um, and then also when I was at the um, thrift store I told you guys about, they had um, a package of these, so these little square, and they're pretty deep, um, for 50 cents, and there was two of them in there, so I got those. And then they also had these little round ones. Again, a two pack, 50 cents. So I got that. They're really, really nice. Like heavy duty, deep, real smooth and professional. I love them. Um, okay, another thing I got um, was these um, metal and acrylic beads. They're look, they look like, um, like clear crystal and gold around them. 79 cents at Big Lots. Um, then I got these for um, rubber bracelet ends. They're just caps. Um, what else did I get from that seller? Oh, and then I got these uh, two beads. Which are like twisted style kind of. You can kind of see it. And as a freebie, that seller um, sent me this cute little like I guess it's like a perfume bottle charm. I don't know exactly, but it's really cute. And then this, um, like fairy girl charm. I'll just probably embed those. And then I also got, um, let's see if I can show you her. Um, this, these drawer things, keyholes, I guess. I'm going to make them into earrings, and she sent me a free little wing charm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make these into earrings with beads on the bottom. And then I also got these heart, these little tiny heart connectors. Focus. There. They're really cute. They have holes on top and bottom, so you can, um, you know, attach things, like, use it in the, in your chains, or if you want to do a wide necklace, you know, that'd be perfect for the part coming down. Then also at Big Lots, I got these. Which, um, they were a buck. Eight pieces. Earring dangles. I use these not only on, like, custom ponies and dolls. But, um, for jewelry, too. Like, um, <clears throat> well, here. Let me show you a good example of how I do my hairstyles. So I'm a little bit different than your traditional pony artist. Um, I like to style their hair very intricately and see all the charms and dangling stuff that is on her head I made all that so it would fit on her and there's her eyeball and I need to paint her symbol but so that's how I like to do my hairstyles and so in doing that um, I use a lot of beads and a lot of findings and things also um, from that same Big Lots um, their store trip. I got these acrylic letters. I have never seen anything like these and I really really like them. 
and they were um, half of 59 cents. So I don't think there's actually 45 pieces in here because it doesn't look that full to me. But there could be. But so I got them for what, 30 cents? Couldn't beat it. They also had these um, confetti shapes at Big Lots. They're balloons. It's hard to see, but they are balloons. They have little tails and everything. They're really cute. And that thrift store that was next to Big Lots that I went to had these old, I mean old, they were 49 cents at one point, um, snowflake um, sequins, I guess, for 25 cents. Um, but I'm always looking for different types of snowflakes and things to add, so I picked those up. And I also got these in the mail um, about a week ago. They're just that, um, this cameo setting I use a lot, but in black. Etsy was all sold out of black. I couldn't find anybody who had black. So I ordered 20 from eBay, so I wouldn't run out. And then at that thrift store, I also got these, um, they're just called jewels. I don't know if they're glass or crystal. It doesn't really say. But they're just different colors. And as you can see, I have a very big collection of crystals. Mostly Sorvoski. I mean, I spend almost like $300 a year in Sorvoski crystals alone. Because I use them on ponies and resin. And But I also um, pick up like acrylic and any any kind of crystal, really. And then these other ones, which I really like, <clears throat> these are glass crystals. They are called Jazzy Jeans Iron-On Stones and Studs, and they did have other ones there that I didn't pick up. I just picked up the ones that um, either I was low on for the size they were or, you know, the color or whatnot. Um, they were a dollar each pack, and they are um, red. That gray background behind is like you can kind of see texture on it maybe um, that's the actual iron on part <clears throat> so I got small red ones because um, I'm getting very low on the small red crystals um, small green ones and now this shade of green is actually really difficult to find it's not as dark as emerald Swarovski's it's lighter it's brighter but it's not as light as leaf green Swarovski's so I really like this color. I wish they would have had more. I would have bought more. They have these white studs, which I plan on using for snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'm going to zoom in for you. There you go. Um, they have these bigger red crystals. Now, normally I don't go any bigger than like 7 millimeters. Or I'm sorry, SS7, whatever that equal that to be or SS9, um, for ponies, but now that I do resin, I started needing bigger ones, and this really pretty shade of blue, and it looks more sapphire on the camera right now, I hope it shows up the true color, it's a little bit darker than the packaging, but it's not like sapphire, it's just, I don't know, a dark sky blue, really pretty, and then last but not least, for the jewelry findings, I got, um, let me go out of the way, I got these crystal beads. They're red rondelles. I don't know if you can see those. They're really pretty. They're very sparkly. I got, um, these are blue ABs rondelles. These are bigger green AB rondelles. These are just plain blue rondelles. And these are black. I'm sorry if that's really blurry. My camera's having a hard time picking those up. Um, when I was at Big Lots, I also picked up... Um, this is Wet n Wild Mega Sparkle Confetti. It's not actual confetti. It's glitter. And now I do have some of this... Let's see if I can get that there. I can get it to focus or not. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Um, pink sugar. Um, I do have one of these for my face that I use fairly regularly. It was $1.20. Um, but I wanted to get some to keep in here because I hate when I have to take my glitter back and forth. 
Um, this is another one I got. I ordered online. LA Splash Cosmetics. Now you cannot find these types of things from LA Splash in stores. I've never found them. And it's Golden Tangerine. And it's glitter, but it shifts color. And I originally got it for myself to wear. But after seeing how super sparkly it is, I think I'm going to use it in resin. And then the other one I got is this um, Makeup Geek pigment. And it's called Utopia. And it's got big chunks. It's not glitter. It's actually pigment. And I'm probably going to end up using this as makeup because it is makeup and I love makeup. Okay, on to the last stretch of things. I got this, um, this is at the dollar store. It's a seven day pill reminder bottle. It's in the color of the rainbow. That's the whole reason I got it because I'm gonna put glitter mixes in it that I make because I am running out of things to put glitter mixes in. I go through my, um, I take my old pill bottles, invert the lid and put paint in them. So I don't use those for glitter because I make a lot a lot of custom paint so um i found this and it was the only one they had so <laughs> if they would have had more i would have got more um another found object discovery um i was cleaning some stuff out of my kitchen which um i hadn't seen these before they were in the back of a drawer i never had seen them i guess they were clear so i didn't really see them and there's some type of candy mold um, or something. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but I cast a piece in there to see if it would work. Um, and it was beautiful. I mean, it's really pretty. I used this shape right here, this round part, and it was shiny, pretty. So, so happy I found those. I found two of them, so. And I also got this silicone mold. It's just the Skull Lady cameo. I know a lot of people probably are like, oh, I've seen that forever, always everywhere but um I actually like that cameo and I have some necklaces that I would like to finish up that are for my own personal use this is only a dollar fifty on eBay yeah that included shipping and it's a sturdy mold I mean it looks good we'll see how it casts when I cast in it I also made an order from um Cats Perfect on storeenvy.com. So it's www.catsperfect.com. Um, and she was real sweet and included um, some notes. But she had the sale going by two get one free. And I can't find my free one. It's, I just cast in it a couple days ago. It's the lightning bolt, so it's pretty plain. But I did end up getting this corset. I've been after this corset for a while, and I just love this thing. I have so many ideas for it, and I can't wait to post it more. I have one that I have to add the details to, but really like that. So, Kat, if you're watching, love it. And then she also has this really cute cupcake on there with a bow. And I, I really like this one, too. It's so adorable. And then last but not least, I picked this up at Big Lots uh, for $2. It's a silicone mold, and it's uh, it was on sale because Halloween was over, but I love the tombstone. And the ghost is cute. And the pumpkins are cute. The tombstone is the real reason I bought it. But they are pretty big, so... Well, thank you all, and you guys have fun, and happy crafting. Thanks.